Let's start with your reading Capricorn. Today, we're going to look into your recent past, current energies and near future. And then we will immediately clarify in order to find out more details about your messages. Now, let's begin right away with your reading. Okay, there is definitely a huge attempt here to control something that is trying to happen or that has happened, trying to control a message perhaps that is trying to get to you. But at the same time, you don't seem to be open to it. You or the person you're dealing with, we'll see. Now, the main energy for the reading is the chariot. There is something that you might be going through at the moment that is meant to actually trigger a reaction from you, meant to put you oops, in a position in which you have to make a decision, a decision can, that cannot be postponed anymore. The most important thing about this card is what it's asking you. What are you going to fight when everything falls apart? What are your beliefs in the darkest of the moments? Are you able to transform your weaknesses into strengths? There's a lot happening around you. So let's just see why this message is coming up for you today. In the recent past, we have the Nine of Wands and the High Priestess. There is definitely a ton of hidden energy in this reading, starting with the High Priestess over here. We see right here the energy of someone who used to be around you all the time. This is someone who used to hide their real intentions, their actions in the situation. And in a way, they still are. We see it right here with the Four of Cups and the Emperor. This is someone who still today is leaving a trail behind. And the cards are really picking up on it. It wouldn't surprise me if this person is still looking you up on social media, trying to see what you're up to, trying to see if you are happy without them. Again, we are looking into the past, but I cannot help but feeling that this energy is still very much current. And we see right here that someone is trying to build a wall in between them and these messages, them and these emotions. We'll come back to this to find out more about it. In the present, we have the Emperor and the Four of Cups as anticipated. Someone is trying to erase something here as if it doesn't exist or as if it never happened in the first place. This is something that somebody might have done or said and that they wish they didn't. But also, when it comes to you, Capricorn, I feel that there is clearly something you regret from this previous connection, something that you might have internalized and even forgot about. We'll come back to this to see what it is, but don't forget that the hardest wounds to heal are the ones we cannot see or the ones we ignore. And if you repress something, you are actually letting it grow more powerful every day. So we'll see what this is when we come back to this. In the near future, beautiful two cards, Judgment and the Sun. There is something here that is making you feel very, very good in the immediate moment that it will be presented to you. Not sure what it is yet, but after this comes in, Capricorn, things are going to change for you. I see you walking with your head held high again walking with confidence, with determination, going back to your original self, you know, and unapologetically starting living your life again, living it exactly how you wanted to live it and not how you were forced to live it in the situation. What is this going to be about? We'll find out. So let's start clarifying and let's begin with your recent past. Uh, 
All right. You're definitely, someone at least here is definitely trying to still find their way after this connection, after this situation. We have the Eight of Cups, the Maze, and the Shapeshifter. You know, what's interesting is that this is someone who you thought was going to be the one for you. Someone who was the person you could have truly been happy with. A thought that maybe comes to mind still from time to time, but that right now doesn't really make sense. It's just the, the feeling that comes back at times, but that a feeling that you have been trying to ignore because you don't think it's going to take you anywhere. You already moved on from this, or at least you attempted to. Eight of Cups, moving on from something that you know, it's not making you happy anymore. Now, whether they admit it or not, this person has really seen you as their last chance at love. But I do get the sense that at some point, they, they messed up big. And that has been the main issue for you. Once someone really hurts you or even betrays you, there is no coming back from that. You can try, yes, shapeshifter, trying to adapt to the situation, try to adapt to the events that are happening, but eventually you always fall back to your original self and to how you really feel. And I do perceive that once you close a door, you don't only lock it, you build a wall in front of it. And we see right here that although it was painful, that's what you did. But why is this message coming up for you today then? The maze, there is still someone who's trying to find their way back to this physically or emotionally we'll see we'll see so let's keep going with the reading and let's see what's going on in the present <clears throat> mm. all right Right here, first of all, we have the Three of Swords, and then the Mystic and the Geomancer. This, these are cards that are very important, actually, in this position. What I see right here is that it's not really much about what this person has done or what they made you believe. Instead, it's the fact that you believed it. That's what bugs you the most right here. It feels like for someone, for some of you, actually, when you were in this connection, trying to make things, things work, trying to really always find a middle ground in between the two of you, sacrificing things potentially that for you were important. But now you look back and you realize how you have been at times talking this person into loving you, into loving you in the same way you were loving them. And now when you look back at it, you just think, why did I do that? Why didn't I just walk away the first time around, the first time that this happened. The issue here is that this has created a deep wound within you. And it's something that you need to look into because it's the cause of any potential unbalance that you might be experiencing right now in your life. By the way, it's crazy to see how much of this you're actually putting on yourself. Listen, we all make mistakes. We all do things that we wish we could, we could go back and change sooner or later. It happens to the best of us. But making mistakes is okay. As long as we find the strength to move on when it's time to move on. It's impossible to live and love without ever failing. Unless you love so cautiously, in which case you might as well not loved at all. So don't be so hard on yourself and start looking at what you're moving towards instead of looking at what you're leaving behind. So you definitely invest in this a lot. Geomancer, also known as the Queen of, um, of Pentacles, you were very nurturing when it came to this and we see the big investment, but it is what it is. Right now, it's time to look forward, especially because you have a lot to look forward to. So let's clarify the near future. Let's see what's coming up. All right, good. 
Six of Swords, Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords with the Veil. And right here we have a very important card, the Ten of Swords, which might sound scary, but it's not at all. Not in this context, at least. Something is coming to an end. And this overall struggle that you have experienced after this connection changed and transformed is coming to an end. Again, you're now realizing one of the most important things you've ever realized in your life. It's not about making mistakes. It's about being confident in your ability to survive anything, no matter what life throws at you, knowing that you are secure in your ability to keep going and not letting anything making you second guess what you know you're destined to. What I see right here is that you're really looking to move forward and there are a lot of things coming your way and the most beautiful thing about this is that this is just the beginning. This overall mindset can really set you free in ways that you haven't experienced in a while. This whole period of your life right here really just feels like a test and once you pass it and learn the lesson that you need to learn with the Six of Swords, then you're moving towards the sun in no time. Not sure what exactly the sun will bring to you in the next few months. We'll look into it next. But for now, what's important to know is that you're going to get through this stronger than you've ever been. And you're soon going to be on the other side of all of this, knowing that everything that has happened does not impact you anymore. And you will be free again, free to love, free to be yourself, free to look at the future with the same intensity and hope and motivation that you had before this came into your life, okay? So now let's keep looking into this beautiful message, Capricorn, and let's see what exactly is coming your way, especially once you learn your lesson and once you fully move on from what this chapter of your life has brought to you. With the sun, you have to expect big, big things. So let's keep going with the reading and let's see what you should expect in the next few months. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, Capricorn, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal live 45 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning to confirm. Please make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading Capricorn. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to its evolution is the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is the card that reminds you that you can have it all, regardless of everything you went through, regardless of the time you feel you wasted, regardless of the failure and the mistakes, you can still have it all. This card is really reminding you that every passing second is a chance to really turn it all around for you. As long as you believe it, as long as you find within you that determination again. But also, this is starting to talk about some major... Oh, by the way, right underneath the Ten of Wands. This is starting to talk about some major results and things that maybe right now you're not expecting anymore, but that are headed your way or better. You might be, you can be headed their way as long as you move on. As long as you really let go of everything that you still carry with you from this situation. And it's not the memories. It's not the fact that you have made mistakes potentially with this person. Believed in things that you should have not believed in. It's what you bring with you, the emotional baggage, okay? That you have to let go. We have number 10, number 10, number 10. This is the time to let go so that you can make room for something much better, much more beautiful, and here it is. So let's immediately clarify that 10 of Pentacles and let's see what you should expect in the near future. Let's see how your journey is bound to evolve in the next few months 
And let's see what else comes your way that you should absolutely know about today. Let's start by clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> the Magician, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and here you are. By the way, I have you here as well. So this is a very important combination right here because not only it validates everything we said up to this point regarding the Ten of Pentacles and the Sun, but it also adds something that maybe right now you are underestimating and that if you don't pay attention to, might actually be an obstacle on your way to this result. What we see, first of all, with the Magician...